<sighs> Hello again. Uh, well, I remember from your previous video uh, that when you did the debunk on um, uh, the when you attempt uh, from your previous experiment, you did do a, de uh, a control video called debunk where you stuck a candle next to the uh, side wheel. Um, theoretically speaking. Um, if a heat source were there, it should push the side wheel away to a certain extent, but there was no evidence of that in one of your previous videos. And, um, you know, from having used a side wheel, either paper or tin foil. And one of the things which I found interesting in this video, is, at least for the first half, is that, um, is that the side wheel, whenever you moved your hand, seemed to move towards your hand as opposed to away from it. Uh, this is in particular, uh, uh, this is particularly evident when you stuck your hand on top and were moving your hand about. Uh, if there were a heat source, uh, it, or static, um, now static might be, that range does seem a little odd for static, again, because of the paper or what have you, but, um, you know, would eliminate it because of the uh, fact that it was paper. But a heat source should push the psi wheel away from it, not necessarily come towards it, due to the heat on one side, cold on the other, you know, heat moving towards the cold. You know, it does seem a little odd that the psi wheel would be moving towards your hand. Um, yeah, I am a little confused by it, at the very least. So, you know, I would say that you perhaps do have something there. Um, tell you what. Wait until you have a genuine member of the scientific community there, um, ready to, uh, you know, preferably a physicist or something, uh, to take a better look at it and see if there's any uh, uh, controls that you or I might have missed or any variables. Um, but yeah, otherwise I would say it looks good initially. It's definitely worth investigating. I will give it that much. Toodles.